couple cups, stop phone pulled up. And she look bad at the main bad truck. Bubble butt, cost 10 to fit up. LSD tax, stick stuff on the tongue. 2500, yeah, we tax for the test. I be saying 10 on the way, it's a mice. I don't mind, get out my wrist, no money. Gotta come back home for these picking up days. Whole lot of rocks in the bus, now I wanna cut 10 and I went and got pushed on up.
that I get my retwist gel from to seal in the moisture after I spray my locks down I'm gonna be using the wild growth light oil moisturizer and I have been loving the light version they do have a regular version which is a little bit heavier but I don't necessarily want my locks to be oily I definitely want them to be hydrated and shiny for sure and sealing that moisture but I definitely don't want them to be greasy and heavy to retwist I'm gonna be using from the lock-in brand the lemongrass scented locks and twist braids wave edge chill and this is extra hold so yeah y'all that is everything that i'm gonna be using y'all wish me luck this is a style um that it's not really intimidating because i do two strand twists often which that's gonna be like the basis for my bob if you've seen me with my lock knot bob then you know the bob be giving it to the girls and so we love that let's just go ahead and get on into it yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. She wanna know me, I stay low key, I'll cast no breaks, baby. Let them hoes sleep. Body on to make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one and I'm on one. So what is gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. Riding on a team, got what you need. Baby, won't you keep me company? You never lie to me Keep the moves on tuck I know it's all up Everything good Keep the vibes on crush I know it's all good Know it's all love Know it's all love I've been feeling like the motherfucking man Lately Can't nobody do it like I can Daily Fattest in the lattice in the land to a fanny up, fanny up. I made it where I'm at on my own. Had a couple blocks in the road, but I get to the bag on the loan. I be kind of sex while they grow, yeah, you know me. Baby, won't you keep me company? Give me something to do when I get lonely. I got something for you when we get home. If you let me put it down, when I come in town, you should lie on me. Keep your minds on me. On try, baby, I think you should side with me. Stay solid one time if you lie with me. Just promise you never lie to me. Keep the moves on tuck. I know it's all up. Everything good. Keep the vibes on crush. I know it's all good. Good. Know it's all love. Okay, y'all so here we are starting with moisturizing off our first section in the back now i want to apologize in advance because i know this isn't the best view or the best shot but baby i didn't know till it was too late so here we go I often get a lot of questions about how I do my own locks, how I style my own locks, especially for in the back. I know that a lot of people don't really have the patience to, but to be honest, I'm never super, super focused on the back, especially when it's a style that's gonna be hanging anyway for the most part. I don't be caring about what that back look like. As long as I know the roots are smooth and that my locks are twisted, I'm good to go. So basically what you see me doing here is just going off a of feeling. I am separating and pulling apart different pieces, just getting my locks separated in the back because it tends to get a little wild back there as you can see. So I just like to comb out my roots, make sure that they are nice and smooth, and then I'll just go ahead and twist them. I like to use the palm roll method I don't interlock and I don't do any crocheting unless I'm conjoining locks but I just take whatever excess hair around the root of the lock and just twist it around the lock itself and then go ahead and palm roll so that's pretty much what I do for 
as far as retwisting goes and then for the back I'm, I'm really just going off a of feeling I don't try to strain myself and stress myself out on you know what if I can see back there if the parts are super accurate nine times out of ten for the most part they are but like I said I just use my nails separate the hair and kind of just go off of feeling So I'm gonna show y'all my two strand twist technique again later on in the video, but I kind of wanted to show you here first was just, you know, my twist and pull method. So what you wanna do is make sure that your farthest lock, which I believe will be in your right or left hand, whichever lock is going to be the opposite of the way that you're twisting. Again, if this doesn't make sense, I will definitely explain a little bit later on in the video. So stay tuned, but basically i'm just twisting and pulling and i take the lock that is on the opposite side of the direction that i'm twisting and pull it over the top of the other lock and then just keep this twist and pull method as you can see here Okay, so here I am about halfway done with my head or a little over halfway. I wanted to go ahead and <laughs> skip through the parts of me doing the lock knot bob. I already have, I believe, two tutorials, one for the lock knot bob and one for just two strand twists or rope twists. So I will make sure that I have those linked down below if you want a super, super in-depth. But I went ahead and started for the first like couple sections in the back i didn't start to add my boho pieces but this is what it's starting to look like and I, we're about to hop into how i add it in my little cute boho pieces okay so i just took down my top little section and as i advised in the steps earlier you want to make sure to section and resection as you go this makes styling your locks so much easier i can't tell you enough especially when you're doing rope twist two strand twist you want to make sure to section and resection and then once you do have your section make sure you count off your locks make sure that you have an even amount make sure that every lock has a mate make sure that you are pre-planning and pre-prepping jumping into the tutorial i'm just going ahead and moisturizing this section that i'm just now starting once you take a couple of hours to get to the front it does kind of dry up a little bit so i just wanted to rehydrate that i'm gonna go in and just make sure that my parting is nice and neat now in the front and in the middle and on the sides baby that's where we worry about the parting that's where you should worry about don't too much concern yourself with the back but I'm just going ahead and laying some of my retwist gel on the parts and then parting out my edges parting out my sideburns this is completely optional this is just to my preference so you want to make sure that you go ahead and leave out some of that hair prior to you retwisting because you could mess up the smooth base once you try to comb out some baby hairs afterwards now that the base of my locks are smooth and i have combed out my baby hairs and sideburns i'm just going to go ahead and twist any excess hair from the root of my lock around the lock itself and then going to go ahead and palm roll both i haven't been using any clips so i'm just going to set aside my other lock and then before i get ready to two strand twist them together i'm just going to go ahead and just retwist them again just a little bit Okay, so kind of like how I was explaining earlier, I'm taking the lock that's farthest away from the direction that I'm twisting and pulling that over my other lock and then twisting and pulling. So as you can see, I'm twisting the locks as I am twisting them together, if that makes sense. If you can't understand that, then go ahead and rewind. But like I said, I also have some videos down below that is going to help you out a little bit more in detail. But here we're really just 
you know here for the boho pieces so i'm just spraying a little bit of leave-in conditioner into my hand and that is what i'm going to use to make sure that the boho hair is nice and smooth because this is free just out free hair and just to make my life a whole lot simpler this is how i'm going to make sure that those pieces stay nice and neat while i'm twisting and if you don't want to, you don't have to use leave-in conditioner. You can use aloe vera gel. You can use water. Whatever you have on hand that's really light and that's going to let the allow the curls to dry nice and bouncy. Make sure that they're completely saturated. So as you can see, I'm making sure that little straight end is saturated as well. And now I'm going to go ahead and place that in between or split it in between the two pieces that I am twisting together or my two locks that I'm twisting together. So I'm gonna lay them in there kind of like in a V or lay the boho hair in there kind of like in a V and then have one of the curly piece or have the curly piece in one lock and the short straighter piece on the other lock. And then I'm gonna just continue to two strand twist as normal. Once I get to the place in my lock where I want to go ahead and leave out my curly piece, I just place the piece in my mouth. I know that's kind of like, eh, is it unsanitary? Is it sanitary? I didn't really care if you want to use a clip, you can, but I just place it away. And then I continue to two strand twist on down my lock. Now, I only leave the curly piece out. That other straighter short, short piece is inside of my two strand twist. So now that I have made it down to the bottom, I'm just gonna go ahead and use a rubber band to secure it. And then in order for me to get my bob look, I've been taking my locks and folding them up however far that I want my bob to stop. But I just pull my locks to the front and just kind of see where everything else is falling to match it up. Fold my two strand twist up and then I'm just going to twist the rest of the two strand twist around itself. Just kind of watch. I feel like my description isn't the best, but by watching, you will definitely get the idea. So once I have that even line or where I know I want my bob to stop, I'm just gonna go ahead and take the tail, wrap that upwards up the two strand twist, and then use another rubber band to go ahead and secure that. Okay, so even though we did go ahead and moisturize and make sure that that straight piece was slick, it's inevitable that some of that straight piece is gonna be sticking out. So all I do is just take some scissors and trim that off. I just make sure that I go in there. Please use smaller scissors than this. I couldn't find my smaller scissors at the time, but you don't wanna make a mistake and accidentally cut off your curly piece or worse, cut off one of your locks. So <laughs> just go ahead and make sure you use some smaller pieces. But yeah, that's pretty much it it's really really simple super super cute and i'm really really excited about it so let's go ahead and finish this boho lock not bob girl even in my down times i can't get you out of my mind sorry hey i didn't run a thousand days just to find you in my way You and me, them they do too much, but you in control. Loving that about you, me, I want it all. Oh, she my baby doll. Oh. Okay, so again, here I have my two pieces that I'm doing my two strand twist with, and I'm taking the lock that's farthest away from my face, which is farthest the operation or farthest the direction that I'm twisting, pulling that over that front lock, and then I'm twisting them both as I'm twisting them together. So it's kind of like a double twist motion. You're twisting your wrist, but you're also twisting the locks together. Now that I have a couple of twists down, 
Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my boho piece, get my leave-in moisturizer, make sure I get some of that in my hand so that I can fully saturate that curly piece. Again, this is just to make sure that the hair is tamed while I'm twisting it, and it's just easier to manage that way. And also it gives a nice shiny bouncy curl to our boho pieces. So again, I have my boho piece, one hand with the straight piece attached to one lock and one hand with the curly piece attached to the other lock. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and start two, two strand twisting again like I did normally. I'm gonna do that for a couple of twists and then I'm gonna go ahead and pull that curly piece out, pull it to the side, clip it away, and then go ahead and continue to two strand twist all the way down. Finally, there is a light at the end of the tunnel, y'all. It's just that feeling when you get ready to start your last lock on your retwist, or we getting ready to start that last set for your two strand twist or whatever style it is that you're doing to your locks. That feeling is unbeatable. Again, I know a lot of people's patience is really, really short, but just a couple tips. If you're gonna be styling your own hair, make sure you're well rested, make sure you're fed, make sure that you're hydrated make sure that you keep hydration near you and just put on something to watch or watch a tutorial and just take your time and get it done i promise you you're gonna save so so much money and you're gonna be proud of yourself and the more you do it the more that you practice the better you're gonna get at doing your own locks i promise you i've literally been doing my whole doing my locks my entire lock journey for the most part and i do not regret saving all the coins okay you're never gonna regret saving the coins one thing that I will say is that I wish that I added more curly pieces since this is my first time doing this I really just was experimenting but definitely 
I advise adding maybe more than one curly piece to your two strand twists um, and also doing longer pieces but for this case and just for the first time that I'm doing this I'm super proud at how it turned out everything looks so good I will definitely be doing this again towards the middle or the end of summer but definitely longer and definitely more boho pieces this time around So yes, this is the finished look. I'm so, so happy with it. Again, like I said, I will definitely be doing this again and adding more curly pieces this time because baby, this summer I'm, I'm definitely gonna be giving Bohemian a goddess. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure that you give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below, girl. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on your post bell notifications just so that you will not miss any uploads. We do vlogs, we do tutorials, we do mindset chit chats we do it all girl again thank you so so much for watching and i will just see you all in my next one yeah i be looking like that what the fuck we pull up in that eye that rust of that color and then we gon' pop out in that truck look to windows i'm fucking it up chopper on me i'm busting it up